The Selim AEM integration allows to transfer any kind of asset from Selim content to AEM assets automatically. To demonstrate this, we want to start by uploading two assets from our local file system into the Selim content folder called Incoming. Once they're uploaded, you can enrich the assets with additional metadata in the Edit Metadata menu. In this example, we have set up two information fields and mapped them directly to AEM fields. For example, the Selim content description was mapped here to the AEM description and the purpose of the asset was mapped to the CG tags field inside AEM. Here you can enter any values. In our example, we choose beanies for events and therefore choose the purpose of the asset as events. In our example, the purpose of this field is a no reference field and the description field is a localized text area field. The connector supports all kinds of Selim information fields. In the last step, you only need to save all your changes. Since we can also use download formats to transfer our assets, we want to make use of this function by changing the name of the asset. The download format allows us to transfer the asset using this new display name instead of the original file name. You can fully customize how to transfer the files. For example, all image assets should be PNG files or all video assets MP4 files. Now that we have enriched our assets with metadata, they are ready for synchronization. To synchronize them, we have to move them to a folder that is marked for AEM synchronization. To check or change the state of a folder, simply right-click on a folder and activate or deactivate the AEM Cloud Synchronization checkbox. Furthermore, you can specify a custom cloud folder name if you do not want to use the Selim folder name. To move the files, simply select and drag and drop them into the synchronized folder. All subfolders will be recursively synchronized as well. The connector works event-based. This means that after the assets were edited, the synchronization starts immediately. You can always check in the metadata whether the Sync to Cloud checkboxes are selected and if there were any problems with the last synchronization. Further, you can always look up the path to the folder in AEM that was synchronized, as well as the file name based on our chosen display name. Additionally, the bullet icons indicate that the asset was transferred successfully. Let's check if the transfer was successful. In the AEM authoring environment, we go to the asset section to see if the assets are located in the correct folder. Our previously configured Selim folder was automatically synchronized with the AEM environment. And the structure as well as the assets are available in AEM. We also want to check whether the metadata was correctly transferred by checking on the file properties. According to the previous mapping in Selim, the Selim display name, the Selim description and the purpose were correctly mapped to the AEM environment. Any Selim information field can be mapped to any AEM metadata. Selim super admins will be able to completely configure the integration inside the Selim configuration management dashboard. On the general configuration, you can find all settings for the AEM integration. Here you can find subsections, such as Selim specific settings, where you can for example only allow specific file types to synchronize. In mapping, you can specify file categories with download format IDs, and you can map any Selim information field to AEM metadata names, as well as Selim properties to AEM metadata names.